So today we'll be talking about the moon and Capricorn natal placement in the ninth house. So if you have this placement, then this is the video for you. And so what Capricorn is, is it's about the emotions of others. And so this is why the moon is considered in fall here, because it's opposing cancer. Cancer is about our own emotions, and it's where the moon feels comfortable. When you have the moon in Capricorn, you know, this creates a tendency or a personality to feel very responsible or feel like you have um, to take care of responsibilities in order to feel stable and secure. So somebody with moon in Capricorn does not feel happy, secure, or stable if they are not independent and, and self-sufficient in, in some way. Or also if they're not doing things that matter to others. Ultimately, that's what success is. It's when we do things that matter to others or basically make us be remembered by other people or basically affect their emotions. Um, and, and so in your case, the moon is in the ninth house. The ninth house is about excitement. And it's also about belief systems, um, evangelism. So like spreading beliefs, um, broad communication. And it's, it's also about excitement adventure it's very scattered because the word that sums up that house is broad it's a broad house it's about broad horizons excitement is a very broad subject and so in, in your case with the moon being here what this may mean um, is that First of all, you have this responsibility or this sense of security that comes from doing things that will be important or that will have an impact on the public in some way or on people. And the way that you want to do it is you want to do it through exciting people. You always want to do something novel, exciting, that will also be recognized and um, seen as important or successful. This can be about being recognized as some sort of inspirational figure or some sort of intellectual leader, um, somebody that teaches people. And this is your position in this case because Capricorn is in the ninth house. Um, perhaps you know, this is a teaching position or a a certain degree that you accumulate and, and acquire. And like, this gives you stability. So a lot of times school or the education system, especially traditional um, education and traditional pathways becomes your form of stability. So being part of a, a school, uh, some sort of... Um, college or a a institution of some sort and having a position there this is your comfort and so not only does your comfort or your desire for stability um, have to do with uh, exciting people in some way or in exciting their minds like giving them new ideas, but it, it just has to do with inspiring people on the other hand. Um, but Sagittarius is about both of those things, like exciting people or inspiring them. Both can really be, you know, summed up to very similar meanings. They are very similar in their effect. So the shadow side of this position being that Sagittarius, which is the sign associated with the ninth house, is the twelfth sign from um, Capricorn, and the twelfth has to do with chaos or all things. It has to do with oneness. Um, and with your moon being in this in this ninth house and having that twelfth house influence a little bit, 
um, relative to Capricorn, you may feel responsible a lot of times for guiding people and like guiding all forms of people that you encounter and you may feel responsible for their well-being and their state. So this is an empathetic placement just because the moon is in Capricorn. So you're able to sense other people's needs, other people's uh, feelings, especially how they, they feel about you. So you feel self-conscious sometimes with this placement, um, perhaps. But um, in general, you feel responsible for uh, exciting other people or inspiring other people or guiding them and putting them on the right path. So this is a major teacher placement or somebody that wants to do things in the eyes of others that will make them follow the right path or put them on some sort of new journey um, or elevate them and expand their mind. Um, that's that's really how I can sum this placement up. So and, and in, in the end, how this relates to your moon is that this concept and this whole thing of uh, inspiring others and being recognized as some sort of guru figure or some sort of example, this is your emotional stability. Like you need to have this in order to feel like somebody. Like you need to have this in, in order to feel like you matter or in, in order to feel secure, happy, etc. which is all the themes of the moon. You also have this capacity to make intellectual or sorry, philosophical connections between knowledge. Like you have a creative mindset that connects the dots. So you learn a lot of things and perhaps you invent new forms of knowledge from the fact that you connect different pieces of history or things that you have read or learned from somewhere or someone else or for some from some book or things of that nature. With the moon in Capricorn, you feel other people's emotions and you sacrifice your own comfort and your own emotions in order to cater to other people's emotions. So you may be more serious, reserved, um, calm, collected, stable, all for the sake of other people because uh, this is what moon in Capricorn kind of manifests as. And then, of course, in your case, though, you, you feel like you're you're meant to guide people or excite them and, and take them out of whatever slump that they're in. So, yeah, this is an awesome placement. I think it's it's pretty cool and it's very em empathic. It's generous and it's intuitive. You know, you pick up on, on a lot of things and, you, you know, you got to protect your boundaries, your emotional boundaries and not pick up on too many people's baggage and not feel like it's your job to uplift them all the time or to give them guidance. So yeah, hopefully that was interesting, helpful or entertaining in some way. Um, if you enjoyed, please consider checking out my Patreon where I post other more in-depth videos regarding astrology. And I also am doing a free natal chart reading and free or free inquiry, you know, any type of question, um, even life questions. Um, but you probably don't need that. You're you're a moon in the ninth house. Uh, but in terms of a natal chart reading, perhaps that would interest you. And if so, definitely check that out. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in another video.